everyone, and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is March 12th, 2018, and yeah. on this Monday afternoon, we're excited to have Theo Katzman and four fine gentlemen with us in the studio. <laughs> Just with my shoulder when you got I called in sick so I could comfort you all night Now you got cold feet but just let me bring the ice, yeah I did your laundry and I folded it Chicago, what's up? You guys need a second to tune? Yeah, let's tune, you know what I mean? Cool. So you had a show in Chicago. Yes, Subterranean. Yeah, and now you you had a few days off in Chicago. Um, we had one, one day. <clears throat> Which in band time equals a lifetime. Well, it depends, you know, because we actually spent the morning... Um, we got up really early so that we could see James's father, Jim Cornelius, and sing the national anthem at the Blackhawks game because he's just that kind of bad. Dude, that's your dad? I didn't realize that. My dad and we won. Amazing. Why didn't he join us today for the audio tree session? This wasn't feeling... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's shame him. Jim? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, we... Um, yeah, so then what do we do after that? We, um, we hit the Schwitz, the Russian Schwitz. Um, and then we had some really nice, you know, good food. Amazing. Yeah, it's great. Love it in this town. The music fans here are just like really, really unique. I mean, it was maybe the best show of the tour. It was really slamming. We love hearing that. Yeah. Well, when you guys are ready, can play, I believe we're going to hear, uh, Good to Be Alone. That's right. Yeah. Kick it off, Pardini. Lee Pardini on keys, everybody. <laughs>
Four Fine Gentlemen on Audio Tree Live. Uh, thanks for playing that. Love that song. Thank you. <laughs> so there are some real hard-hitting rock songs, like the first song you played, and then it ebbs and flows with some more subtle songs. Yeah. So I have to ask, what constitutes a heartbreak hit for you? Wow, great question. Um, well, this title, for the record, uh, <laughs> lucky for me, pardon me, I believe I have a little bit of a snot situation <laughs> happening so you want to want to zoom on that can zoom you guys, in on the white please can you guys do like a depth of field thing here thank you gotta take care of that snot before answering the hard-hitting questions you yeah. know <laughs> well so yeah i wrote i wrote a concept album um sort of unintentionally i was writing songs and, and then i realized i had a collection of 10 that were all um about uh loss of expectation um, which is another way of, I think, describing the heartbreak feeling is like when you really thought something was going to be a certain way and then it isn't. And that could be romantic. It could be professional, career related, spiritual, um, anything like that. So I wrote 10 songs in that, uh, theme. And then I tried to, while writing, marry the idea of having a really emotional um, hard-hitting impact emotionally in the song, but also pop, uh, pop songwriting, you know? So that, that, that's kind of what I'm trying to, to marry 
there. Uh, so for me, A Heartbreak Hit is a song that is like, yeah, I like this song, you know, it sounds good, sounds good, sounds good, I like it. And then if you want to take another listen and try to really hear the lyrics and go a layer deeper, it's like, whoa, ouch. So that was what I was going for with the album. And uh, I was not sure what to call it. And then it struck me, Heartbreak Hit struck me and I, oh no, wait, whoops, almost told a lie. I didn't get the idea. You're not allowed to lie on Audio Tree. That's our number one rule here, so. <laughs> okay, well, let's get a little back a second. What I did was uh, I searched breakup songs or something like that, best breakup songs, and uh, I found in the Google search results, it said, like, the top 10 heartbreak hits. And I was like, oh. That's it. That's the name. So whoever wrote that article, thanks so much. Shout out to you. Send me an email. I'll hit you with all the publishing royalties. Thanks for the title. Appreciate <laughs> La it. Last question before you play your next two songs. Do you have a favorite heartbreak hit outside of, and this could be for anyone in the band, uh, heartbreak hit outside of your record? Lee, you know what, I'm, you know what I want to hear, right? Um, it's in the key of E flat. Or sorry, it's the key of G minor. I'll just start it off. Turn down <laughs> the light. Oh. <laughs> Turn down oh, the so bed. Good. No covers on Audio Tree Live, so I'm gonna have to cut you off there. Oh, okay, but well, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Bonnie Raitt's song, I Can't Make You Love Me. Yeah, that's that a good work? one. Totally. Can I be like, bon Wait. Bonnie Raitt's song, I Can't Make You Love Me. How about that? Yeah, that's a, that's a great way to put it. I love it. Well, here, maybe you can play it for us after we finish <laughs> okay, uh, filming. Okay, okay. okay cool. <laughs> Lee, Lee was hip to, the, he knew the contractual obligation there, so he looked at me like, He's like, no man, no, don't man, do it. I'm not doing it, dude. Well, do let's it. hear some more of your original <laughs> tunes. Sounds good. One, two, three. Two sad people walk down the street Where we gonna sit down, where we gonna be Two sad people don't have much to say Just a how well you doing, or how was your day No more sad, sad, happy love songs about two sad people who can't get along I want a bad, bad, happy love song I'd even take a crappy love song Like this one Two sad people don't let the to the down, no, no You can't forget how much oh
called crappy love song <laughs> you guys need a second before the next one or you just want to go into it uh, yeah. yeah so this next one uh, is going to require audience participation from the folks viewing at home we've never done it this way we've never done it with an audience that's not here uh, with us so it's going to require a little bit of a sixth sense but uh, I think we can do it I just want, really want you to sing this loud from your home so that I can, so I can hear it, okay? It goes like this. There's three parts, okay? The first one I want to hear is this. Follow me. It goes like this. Whoa. One, two, three. Here you go. Very nice. Okay, next one's going to go like this. Whoa. One, two, three. Three, let me hear you sing. Excellent. Oh, three, four. Then now the next one, remember those two, okay? The next one is the melody, so we're gonna have that one be loud. Are you still singing your parts? Here we go. Melody, two, three, four. Whoa. One, two, let me hear you sing, yeah. Very nice. Everybody together, here we go. is dead girl very nice it doesn't beat no more my heart is dead girl here we go let's kick it oh.
Weitzman and four fine gentlemen with us on Audio Tree. So Theo, you and I were chatting before um, the session a little bit, and you expressed that you felt really lucky to have these guys with you playing on the tour. Yeah. Um, obviously, you and Joe know each other from Wolfbeck. Lee, you're from Dawes, and then I'm curious to know how you know Jordan, James, how you all kind of came together in this formation. It's a great question. <clears throat> so I have known Joe the longest here. Joe and I have been playing music together for probably ten years. Is that right, Diener? Just about, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a math guy, you know? It could be 25, it could be three, you know what I mean? What no, you, is that 10. accent the Southside Chicago accent, or is that a uh, New no, York? No, it's more like a New York thing. New York, okay, Yeah, okay. from uh, Long, Long They say Long Island, but it's, I'm from Long, Long Island. Okay, you know I got I mean? a little bit of, you know, Southside, like, the Jules. Oh, the, like the, the Bears thing? Yeah, the I don't want to offend there. anybody by trying to do, like, a Chicago thing. I, I don't really know how to do it. It's okay. See what I mean? <laughs> well, we're... Well, <laughs> We'll work on it later. Yeah, but we, could, we want to talk about like half a sandwich. Yeah. We did it for like an hour and a half, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so <laughs> what was the question? Okay, how do I know that? Yeah, what's up? How that did was the question. rest of the band kind of exactly. this formation get together? Yeah. Great question. So I've known Joe the longest. Um, Joe and I have been playing together, yeah, for about 10 years in a bunch of different groups, most notable Wolfpack. <clears throat> now, uh, I moved, well, let's see. So I went to... University of Michigan for college, which is where I met Joe. And then after I graduated, I stuck around for a couple of years and I taught music lessons and I recorded my first album in Ann Arbor. And uh, that's when I met James a couple of years after I graduated. He was starting University of Michigan. So we have like the same crew, even though we actually technically never went to college together. Never did. It really feels like we did. Yeah. <laughs> because I moved out of the house I was living in post-college. James moved in. So. To your bedroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just moved into my it. bedroom. No way. That's your crazy. You moved into my one bedroom. I was going to do that joke, but then I didn't want to <laughs> overplay it. No, yeah. Let, let, me, let me overplay it. Okay. Let me ruin it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. That's, what, that's my preferred zone. Um, anyway, so James is one of my favorite uh, musicians. He won't talk about it, but I've heard him play drums. He sounds really good on drums plays really good keys, he sings his off, as you can tell, and uh, one of my favorite guitar players, so I knew I wanted to, to make some music with James, and there's a lot of potential that could happen there. So after Ann Arbor ended for me, I moved to New York, lived there for a couple years, eventually ended up in LA three years ago, which is where I met Lee, and I feel like you were doing a ton of gigs. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping busy? It's keeping sure. busy. And I said, Lee, no more gigs, all right? Come on the road with me. No, I didn't, just, I didn't do that. Anyway, I met Lee in L.A., and then James moved out to L.A., and then my good friend Caleb Hawley, who's an amazing singer-songwriter out of New York, one of my favorite, really like a, a hero to me, um, he, I saw him play one time, and this guy Jordan Rose is playing on drums, and I just fell in love with Jordan's playing, playing, so... Anyway, I decide I was I would like to run and I would go go for a run. I'm just envisioning kind of like what a great band would be and I've had the good fortune of playing with a lot of incredible players. This is a particularly special crew because everybody's got a certain song sensibility, um, really good control of their instrument and it's a great hang. So I just knew uh, we could do some really great music with this crew and so when I put this tour together it was like I really want to open up these songs because I have this record but rather than play them just like the record it was like I want to open them up and that's mm -hmm. where we kind of came to this for sure this crew so I love it thank you you well, know when they say like oh be a man a few words you know what I mean yeah it's like I didn't get that card you know <laughs> I'm the long-winded guy that's so. all right that's all right yeah, well yeah. let's hear uh plain Jane heroin which Sounds is good. my favorite song on oh, the record so. awesome Excited thank you so much yeah. let's do it There's a stain upon the couch from where I tried to get you high There's a bruise upon my leg again I thought we were making love but you were sticking it in my thigh Now I can't feel my face again I'm hooked on the play, Jane I'm hooked on the play, Jane, heroin. I will never be the 
same without you, Jane, and your heroine, yeah. Get back into my eyes again. I'm hooked on the plane. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. You need a second, or you want to go right into the next one? Last song. Um, 
Yeah, I need a second because I unplugged my headphones by stepping <laughs> on them. So I can't hear anything. We'll give you a second to, to re-hook up. Joe Dart, I forgot my glasses today. Oh, you had some? You yeah. Were gonna... Should I have worn them? Maybe, if, as long as they're uh, proper branding. Okay, kind of yeah, yeah. Thing. You got it? I like it. <laughs> the Dart brand? I was wondering if it was just because it was really bright in here or, you know, <laughs> fashion, fashion both. forward. You know what? I'm going to take my um, guitar off for this one. Okay, yeah. Because I, I don't need it. Okay. We're getting a lot of accents in this interview. Well, if you put me in front of a microphone, you know, it's only a matter of time before I try to do my best thing here. <laughs> it's shite, really. <laughs> it's shite. <laughs> this is the real me, you know? Levon, could I get a C from you, bro? <clears throat> Gold Rose, you ready?
Jordan Rose on the drums, Joe Dart on the Fender bass, James Cornelison on guitar, Lee Pardini on keys. Thanks, Audio Tree. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. Is that a rapper? So I'm just going to give a little, a few notes before we sign off here. But you have guitar's some... guitar's too loud. You want me to change a couple lyrics? <laughs> yep, that's what I'm here for. Uh, no, it sounded beautiful. Okay. So you have some European tour dates coming up. Yes. Um, Theocatsman.com. So yeah. people can check it out there. Definitely. They can also look at my Facebook page. Perfect. And uh, we also have a show in Nashville, um, Mercy Lounge. We have a show in Brooklyn at the Music Hall of Williamsburg. And we have one at the Sinclair and Cambridge. These are the only three shows left with tickets. Cool. So yeah, so get them, get them before they sell out. Um, in addition to thanking you guys, we want to thank everyone here in the studio, the camera crew for hooking it up, our audio engineers. And you guys of rock. course, you, our viewers. Uh, you can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in just a, a few short weeks. So stay tuned to their social media as well as ours. And from all of us here at Audio Tree, we will see you all real soon. Peace out. Peace, rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Yeah. Good job. Thank you very much, everybody.